where you see the interest of private investors? Uh, in which sector, startup sector, they are now investing in Germany? What is the fancy startup to create now? Where, what should I focus on? Where, where the money flows then? <laughs> um, generally, the situation um, has become more difficult with the higher interest rates. So many sources of funding are not as available as before. Mm -hmm. But I think this is a very good uh, situation for founders that actually want to build a sustainable business. You said this um, in the non-climate uh, sense, and this is very healthy. There used to be startups that just got the millions um, and millions after millions in order to grow something big, and they didn't look at um, profits. So I think now it is um, one thing that you have to execute better, not fast, like in the past, but in a sustainable way that you um, prepare your product, internal structures um, in more efficient and cost-effective ways. So this is the general setting. In terms of industries, there is uh, very often um, some topics that are, I call it now, hot shit, where investors start uh, throwing money at because it's a race to get in um, the market leadership position. Because very often um, the goal of um, venture capitalists, i.e. professional investors that give money for young startups, uh, want to create market leaders because the market leaders dominate and will have uh, very high profits over a longer period of time. Hence, the return they make on their investment is just the highest. So there was um, a race in Europe, for example, and also in the US with self-driving cars. Um, it, that was hot shit, or with instant delivery of goods and service uh, of of goods. So um, not very viable businesses requiring a lot of capital. Um, at the moment, I'm not very sure whether I I know the one area I would focus on, and I would rather say that the general principles of good um, startup founding, like you have a good team that executes well, that you've got um, a good financing partner that um, helps you also through um, some financially difficult um, phases is more important um, than um, trying to work on the hot shit. Oh, interesting word. <laughs> <laughs> Mentioned several times, but... Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, as I'm working also for CAS Multinational Development Policy Dialogue Program, we always try to find the bridges between Global North and Global South. And already from what you said, we feel there are like differences, especially gaps in speak about developed countries, developing countries. So they are really trying to develop something for facing their challenges they, they have in, in place, but still we see they are lacking the capacity building, the tools, and of course the main tool is, is money, right, and funding to, to scale up. Um, and here, of course, we always hear and also heard today from our Indian colleagues who spoke about, give us your money and we will deliver. But at the same time, and you also said, uh, and the others saying, okay, let's let the challenge owner be the local people, the people coming from the region where they face those challenges. And of course, we need to provide them the tools. I said that the Global North German investor can listen to and say, yeah, you convinced me with your business model because they live in their bubbles, in their north view, and they expect maybe the expectations coming from people in abroad are similar they expect from people from the global uh, uh, south. So uh, just uh, what is your view, Anya? C could you see that there is like a potential future collaboration between North investors and South uh, thinkers and startups. And uh, as you said, like what for incentives uh, you see Global North could be interested in why why I should go and put my money on on a, on a startup in a, in a farming uh, country like uh, you, you mentioned. I mean, there's a, another discussion that can, you know, go on forever mm. 
between startups and financiers. The startups are saying there's not enough money and the financiers are saying there are not enough good ideas. Mm. So, um, you know, I, I'm not in a position to say is the money really there? Um, are people a bit, uh, you know, skeptic to invest? I mean, clearly, and, and we don't even, it's not only for startups, but we see that in general, um, especially Europe, uh, especially Germany in Europe, you know, industries are very skeptic to invest in Africa, um, which to some extent I understand. You know, mm. it seems a very far away continent, even though it isn't. It's only six hours flight. Um, people don't really know what is going on in the local country. So I think the, the most important thing is not to generalize. Africa consists of 54 states. And you cannot compare South Africa with Kenya. You cannot compare Kenya with Mali. You cannot compare Mali with Senegal. And that is the first, you know, thing or observation that is super important. Um, and, and I think in the last years we have seen a general trend of uh, investors that are trying to get, I don't know if you want to call it a greener portfolio, but investing more shares in, um, you know, climate smart solutions, which are the investors are also asking for. And I think there's a general will to, to invest in, um, in solutions that are not only economically viable, but also ecologically viable and social viable. So I think, you know, there's the, there's the demand and there's the supply, but then we have kind of a, a gap or a box in the middle, mm -hmm. which means very often, as I said, you know, these ideas are not very well executed. You, you're presented with a business plan that you don't really know, that it's not logic, that you don't know where the things are coming from. Um, so and that, that is exactly what we're trying. We, we try to close this gap. So I, I think there are great ideas in Africa. And Africa is a very young country, very dynamic, very, very innovative. Um, but very often it's, you know, this bridge that is missing, you know, the lack of information, the lack of access. But I think we have also seen in the past, once there's a good idea, um, you know, everyone wants to, wants to be on board because we all know that climate change causes a lot of challenges for African countries. And when there is a viable solution that also can, all, can bring you money, people are very interested in mm -hmm. it. And there's obviously nothing wrong in making money. Um, so it's, it's just, you know, as I said, this bridge or gap that, that somehow needs to be filled, be it with information, be it with capacity building. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I, I personally don't think money is the issue when it comes to startups. I mean, I'm not talking about now you know, climate investment uh, full in and, you know, the billions that will be needed. I'm, I'm really talking about the startup sector. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I think there is a lot of potential, but, I mean, how to bridge, how, how to fill the, the gap, I, it, it's a challenge, yeah. 